Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Jalissa. My God, guys, my ring it finally fits. I got it resized and I love it. I'm gonna wear it like every day now. Ah! <laughs> So in today's video, I'm going to tell you guys how to have a good makeup day and what products you need. So for those who don't know, I have oily skin. Right now, I don't have anything on my face. I only have a moisturizer. And as you can see, I do have some dark spots. But today, we're going to cover them up. And these are the products that I use almost every day. But these are definitely my favorite products at the moment. So the first product that I'm going to use is this CC cream from Pharmacy. Guys, I have been obsessed with this one. When you wear this, it doesn't even feel like if you're wearing makeup. It feels so lightweight, but it covers up all the imperfections, all the dark spots. I am really not digging this shirt. But yeah, I really like this. What I do is that I put a little bit on my hands. This was only like... 14 bucks which is kind of crazy because to me that's actually very affordable so i use about that much my shade is medium and and i just put it all over my face As you can see it's starting to cover up my dark spot so I forgot to mention, but I'm actually going to do a quick Q&A. So I told you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram. And you guys sent over some questions. So I figured I would answer them as well in this video. Okay, so the first question is, what made you want to do YouTube videos? So I have always watched YouTube videos like for the longest time now. Oh my god. Ever since maybe like middle school, like back in 2008, nine, like I, I'm just always into watching videos online. So I actually went to college, I studied communications and I really wanted to be a reporter. That was kind of like my thing. Like I just wanted to be in front of the camera, if you want me to be honest. And I thought reporting would be fun, but I mainly wanted to be a news anchor. But for you to be a news anchor, you gotta do reporting for like years. Like it's not like you're gonna graduate college with the degree in communications and then just be like oh i'm gonna apply to a news anchor position i'm gonna get it without experience you probably won't get it if you're gonna be honest it just doesn't work that way like you need to have some experience in front of the camera not just experience from school like some places prefer someone with years of experience working in the field as compared to a degree which is crazy but I mean, I guess it makes sense, you know? You know, I did some internships with some local news stations. Um, and, you know, I liked it, but I also realized that reporting wasn't for me. Like, just going to random places, sometimes at night, it's a little bit dangerous. Like, sometimes you have to go alone, and sometimes you have to bring the big camera and film everything alone, do everything alone. And if you want me to be honest, I am kind of scared of a lot of things <laughs> but it just wasn't for me like i just didn't picture myself going and reporting a hurricane or when i'm i don't even like driving in the rain you know what i mean like stuff like that it just wasn't for me i feel like that's for someone who's a little bit more aggressive out there more brave i'm brave but not in that sense you know what i mean so it really just wasn't for me and i have always loved in pictures being in front of the camera i got into modeling too at the time and i noticed that i liked that a lot more than journalism so three years ago i remember i was kind of struggling honestly to find a job after i graduated college and i was like i remember i would talk to my boyfriend and my family about it and it was tough it was tough because i was applying to so many jobs like even just basic basic like office jobs that you don't even need a college bachelor's degree for like you just need a high school diploma for it. some of these jobs that i was applying for because i was applying for other jobs that you know you needed a bachelor's degree but of course i wasn't even getting those i really was just not having luck with these jobs like i really just was not having luck like i was not getting hired honestly and i just kind of wanted to make money at the time it wasn't even like these jobs that i was applying for i wasn't passionate for them honestly i kind of just needed to gain some experience and make some money 
but that didn't work out and i was kind of frustrated and i remember telling my boyfriend three years ago i remember in the car in my driveway at home i was like babe like what do i do like i just i need to do something that i love i need to do something that's gonna make me happy i need a job that's gonna make me happy and youtube is thank god thank god i'm so blessed and thank you guys so much youtube is kind of like a part-time job for me right now it's not full-time it's more like a part-time job at the moment and guys i am so happy about that because the first two years that i did youtube i did not get one penny and it was okay like i was having so much fun like it's just so much fun so i i was happy about that but now if i'm able to get like some extra money every month it's not bad it's really cool um I feel like I'm taking so long with this question. I didn't hurry up. But yeah, my boyfriend was like, I always wanted to do YouTube because I always watch YouTube videos. And he was like, just do it. Literally, he was just, just film a video tomorrow. Just film a video tomorrow. Just do it. Like, just stop waiting because I would always kind of like push it away and be like, I want to do it, blah, blah, blah. Kind of didn't know how to start. Starting is really hard because a lot of people judge you and a lot of people think that YouTube isn't, a real job or it can become a real job and that it's kind of like a joke or kind of like a game i just filmed my first video it was actually a skincare video i remember like my skincare routine um and yeah that's just kind of how it happened for like two years i really wasn't getting a lot of views but i just kept going and kept uploading videos because it's fun and i love it so i'm like i don't care if i'm not even making money from these videos i mean they're fun it's fun to do and i always post pictures and videos on instagram anyways might as well you know do them on youtube too but yeah my boyfriend really did motivate me to film and upload that first video which is like really the hardest thing to do and you will notice that the people that you thought were going to maybe share your videos don't share them <laughs> or maybe the people that you didn't think that were going to share them or support you a lot support you and i'm like wow like i really really appreciate that especially when i'm just starting i really really appreciate that anyways this this question is just so long i need to stop by the way this is one of the products that i think you need um i got this in my ipsy box so it's not like i saw it at the store and i was like oh my god i need this but after trying it i literally use this like every single day this has the basic eyeshadows that you need for an everyday look i'm gonna link this down below and everything down below and then it has some blushes and a bronzer so this is perfect for traveling so yeah i'm just basically putting the darker brown shade on my crease okay next question um what type of hair products do you use when you straighten your hair i will link down below the shampoo that i've been using and the hair mask i'm gonna film a video more dedicated to that like how to keep your hair healthy and all that stuff before i blow out my hair i love using the living proof restore perfecting spray you guys know i love it i think it's perfect for um, a blowout it leaves your hair so soft so shiny and i just love it i really do recommend that product it's so good but yeah i love that one from living proof i've also been using this garlic i know garlic sounds crazy but it's really good so i've been using this garlic shampoo mask a hair mask and oil i use the oil at night you know leave it overnight sleep with it and then the next day i wash my hair with the shampoo and then use the mask it's amazing i'll link it down below now i'm gonna use this bye bye foundation powder from it cosmetics i love it cosmetics they are just the sweetest ever and their products are so good like this one is actually medium tan and this brush is amazing it's from it cosmetics too it's so big i love it um, I did a photo shoot with them and they actually gifted this to me and I was like, oh my god, yes! Oh, and this too. <laughs> okay, next question. What is my favorite hair straightener? Okay, so this one's a little bit hard because if I'm just thinking about a straightener that is like the top straightener that I have right now, that's like the one that I love so, so, so much, it would have to be my GHD Platinum Plus. I mean, guys, that straightener is just like, whoa! it is so good like it's pricey though it's 250 
So if you can't get that one, I would recommend the Timo one because the Timo one is very inexpensive. It's only like 40 bucks and it's actually very, very good. I'm going to link down below the video where I test these two straighteners out. So yeah, go check out the links down below. I link a lot of stuff down below, so you guys need to go check it out. <laughs> okay, next question. I feel like I've only answered like two questions. Next question. When's the wedding? So my boyfriend and I, my fiance. Oh my god, I keep saying boyfriend. I'm not. I'm like not used to saying fiance, but my fiance and I are planning on doing it. Hopefully summer of 2020. What kind of dress would you want for your wedding? Okay, so. I would love something different. I like being different. I kind of don't like just wearing what everybody else is wearing just because it's popular, just because it's cool or whatever. Like, I kind of don't care. I just want to do whatever I like. I want to wear whatever I like. So sometimes I am the type to just wear stuff that people don't usually wear. Like, not anything ugly or crazy, but, but definitely something a little bit different. Now I'm going to take this blush the one in the middle and put a little bit on my cheeks so yeah i want my dress to be a little bit form-fitting actually very form-fitting very tight not super tight that i can't even like breathe or walk but yeah something tight that kind of accentuates my curves you know <laughs> um i do not want like a princess looking dress like some girls can really rock that and that looks beautiful it's not my personal preference though i just want something that is a little bit more tight you know but yeah that's kind of what i am looking for for my wedding dress i'm so excited to start shopping okay next question is does the revlon one step dryer damage your hair so i honestly think that if you use it too much just like any other hair tool it will damage your hair I mean, using heat on your hair way too much is not good. I feel like maybe don't use it more than once or twice a month, the most. But if you use it every week, yeah, you're definitely going to see a little bit of damage over time. I remember when I first got it, I was like using it like crazy, like literally every single week. And I kind of was losing a little bit of hair right here. And I really think it was because of that. Because it can pull your hair a little bit. I mean, I'm not going to say that it was just that because obviously I test out a lot more hair tools in my channel. But I know that that's the one that I was using the most. I think it's a great tool. But just like any other tool, don't use it too, too much. Because obviously with time, it can damage your hair. And be very gentle with it because the brush can pull your hair a little bit. It's a great tool. And if you don't have it, I would recommend getting it because... Comparing it to how I used to blow out my hair with a regular brush and a blow dryer. Oh my god, I was pulling my hair so much. My hair was so damaged back then. It was bad. So, so I do think that the Revlon is less damaging. But, whoa. <laughs> but just be careful and don't overdo it. So now I'm going to use this Burt's Bee Tinted Lip Balm. This is in the shade Hibiscus. Oh my god, guys. If you want a nice makeup day, a very nice and simple, natural makeup, this is like perfect. Not only does this hydrate your lips, but it also gives you a nice tint. And I love it. I love it. It makes my lips look so juicy and that's always a plus. Okay guys, so here's the final look. Just very natural, very simple. These are the products that I really do recommend and that I use all the time, maybe like every single day. And I think that you guys need to get them because they are amazing. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Let me know in the comments down below what type of videos you want to see next. I love you guys so much. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking, commenting. I really appreciate that. And I love you guys so, 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 so much. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on your post notifications so you can get notified every time I upload a video. And if you liked this video, then I'm sure you're going to like these videos as well. So make sure you go ahead and check out those videos. Bye, guys. Love you.